What's going on guys? Today, I'm going to show you how to add Tailwind to a Next.js project. I'll start off by creating a new project and then I'll add Tailwind to that. If you're adding it to an existing project, you can just skip this first step. So I'll go to tailwindcss.com and then go to get started here and then you can go to framework guides because it brings you right to this installation tab. And then under framework guides, we can click on Laravel. <laughs> Just kidding. We'll click on Next.js. And then step one is creating a project, which like I said, I'll do first. So I'm going to copy this. And this is creating a project, which they're calling my project. And then uh, change a directory into that project. So I'm going to go back and change this to next tailwind and then I will change directory into next tailwind. Need to install create next app version 14.03. Okay to proceed. I'm going to hit Y and then enter. Would you like to use Tailwind? Well, this is interesting because this is a video on how to add Tailwind. I'm going to say no for this and then I'll just show you how to add it. But obviously, you could typically just click yes there and I'm sure that'll do most of the work. Would you like to use the source directory? No, we'll go with the new app directory. Would you like to use the app router recommended? Yes. Would you like to customize the default? No, we'll go with how it is. So we'll clear that. We are in our next Tailwind project. Open that up in our code editor. You bring that in screen here. We have our app folder, got a page.tsx, looking good. We'll do npm run dev so we can view what that's rendering there. Then we'll go to localhost 3000. And we have this beautiful starter homepage. So then install Tailwind. We will click these. I'll install the dev dependency of Tailwind, post CSS, and auto prefixer. And then run the init command to initialize it. And it will generate both the Tailwind config.js and the post CSS config file. So I'll shut down that development server, paste those in here, and run that. Beautiful. And then configure your template paths. This will be in the Tailwind config file. And then in the module exports, there's like the content array there. And you can do this one if you're running the source directory we are doing the app directory, so we'll grab this one. So in the Tailwind config file, we have this content array. And I'll paste that in here and save that. And then we'll add the Tailwind directives with these three different ones in global.css. And we do have a global CSS already. Let's add those here. We do our npm run dev to render anything and then start editing away with the Tailwind classes.
So I'm going to hit up a few times, get back to that NPM, NPM run dev, and start up the development server. Looking good. Go back to our page.tsx. And so we have this docs here. We'll say class name equals text to XL. And then we'll say text lime 400. Save that. And we see it got bigger and it's now colored using the tailwind classes. So short and sweet, just a quick video on how to add Tailwind to Next.js. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Check it, check it.